Hi everyone, the FMG results are declared and I am so happy and honored to be sitting here with Dr. Akib. Now, Dr. Akib, in his first attempt, has not just cleared this exam. He is literally, what you should be saying, nailed it. A score of 236. Oh my God, an amazing score. Congratulations, Dr. Akib. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you to the whole team, Mero, for this. Dr. Akib, how are you feeling? I mean, and what was your feeling half an hour back when the result was declared until now? When you were searching your name in that list, what was going in your mind at that time? Actually, ma'am, I was sitting with my friend in the park and I was telling him the same that uh, we did our exams and I don't know when our result is going to come. And I just checked the notification and I told him, see, somebody is writing like a result has came. Everybody, every time in the telegram is writing re when the results will come, when, when results will And that time I had a phone in my hand and my friend called me and he told me, did you check your result? I told him the result I declared. He said, yes, yes, do check your results. And when I checked my results, I was... Really happy what to was see that the feeling, you know, when you open the net and you are checking the result? So this all depends upon, I mean, were you confident that you would pass? Because 236, I don't think so. You were doubting that you are going to pass or not. I was sure I will pass, but I was not expecting this much. But I was sure like I will get a good score. And uh, when I checked my result uh, for some 15, half an hour, it was undigestible. Too. Yes. And have you informed your parents? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I informed them. What's their really reaction? Happy. Actually, my mom cried. I know that that's how moms are. So yes. emotional, so attached. Yes. yes and uh, so dr akib we would first like to know more about you your uh, i mean your college of graduation and was this your i mean uh, when did you come back from your college to india and how did you start preparing but first a little bit more about yourself um, uh, my name is my complete name is akib rashid and i am from jammu and kashmir india and uh, okay. i did my graduation from tehran university of medical sciences which is in iran you know it so okay. I am graduated from there and I came back in August 2023 and then I started preparing. I, I didn't waste much of time and I came back. I started preparing for FMG exam. So I will go. We will see that how you prepared because you are going to be an inspiration for so many students who would want to know that how did you actually crack it? But before that, would you like to thank someone and attribute your success to those people who helped you either stay motivated or helped you in your this journey? Yes, ma'am. First of all, I would like to thank God. Then I would like to thank my parents for their constant support. I would like to thank my uh, friends, especially Dr. Tufail and Dr. Sahil Shahdab, who introduced me to the best uh, source from which I was preparing for my FMG. And I would like to thank whole team Mero for their constant support and the amazing uh, source they have made for us. And it was really Thank nice. Thank you for so us. much. So, Dr. Uh, Akib, I would like to know just now you said that uh, you were introduced to Maro through your friends. So, yes, can you yes, share yes. that incident with us that how were you introduced? Um, actually, when I was preparing for my exams in the final year, I was in the library and there was one of my friend. He was my junior and he was studying from Maro. So, I told him that I, I knew before it, I knew about the Mero. I used okay. to see some uh, notes, etc., and some uh, uh, Instagram posts or some social media posts. And it used to be, I used to like it. And then I told him that I have neurology exam. Can you, uh, for some time, can you provide me this? Uh, this was your during your final year. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I told okay. him, uh, can I uh, see it? And then I started uh, preparing neurology from it, and I got 100% in my. Uh, final year because we have separate exam for neurology it's mcq based there in our ex uh, university so i got 100 percent re result in neurology and then i told him that i want to get this marrow account and then they introduced me to this marrow team and then i was preparing wholly from this marrow which means dr akib that the first faculty video which you watched on marrow which uh, rather forced you to buy marrow was dr rakesh nair's video Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So do you want to say because, something? Because my favorite Dr. subject was also medicine. I used to okay. um, like study a lot in medicine. Then I, I 
myself wanted to study like the way he teaches and then when i saw him i thought no he is the one the way i wanted to study this medicine that that is i mean someone who is listening to dr rakesh will be will be falling in love with medicine automatically yes, i mean yes, 100% he has that aura you know yes, i yes. truly agree to you so and then uh, i started watching other videos from other faculty like you ma'am and i was really like surprised when i saw the way you are teaching obgy and thank you so much thank you so much so dr akhe bhai just want to know that like you said that you started watching uh, medicine videos or you started watching other videos during your final year were you watching the main videos were you watching the revision videos right or no, were you watching I was... selective videos no ma'am that time i watched whole all the lectures of the main lectures of neurology and then when i did my, because i told you ma'am we had one exam there in university which is called as exit exam i was preparing for that it's also mcq based uh, but it has 200 questions in your university you had to at attempt this exit exam and you were yes, now preparing yes. in your final year for that exit exam yes ma'am yes ma'am for that too so that time uh, i was preparing for that exam after finishing that exam i started preparing from the marrow and in marrow i will say the best thing was the pearls the pearls were amazing and the I, I, I have got right something now is something which i am so happy to hear na i you know no discriminations nothing but hardly ever i see an interview with a for, foreign medical graduate student who is praising pearls and who is saying that one of the attributes to his success was pearls so i am going to take your time some time over here so that you can actually explain to the students because what happens is students they go through pearls but they actually don't know that how to imply them and how to use them for their uh, you know examination purpose so let's go a little slow here but before that which a, a question which most of the students would be having like you said that you saw the main videos was it main videos of only neurology did you see or did you see the main videos of entire medicine and was it med 80 or was it the complete medicine videos no ma'am the main videos were for only neurology and uh, i have seen main videos of orthopedics during my final year exam acha so, so during these, the, I was doing the main videos and much. then after giving that exam when i was uh, when i came back i started doing uh, this uh, rapid revision videos and when i used to complete the rapid revision videos then i used to uh, see the pearls and i used to write down all the pearls again and then i used to do the q bank or any previous year questions and i was getting great results only because i was first preparing from the pearls that's a wonderful technique which you which means that all of the students who are now listening to us beta i know it's unfortunate that you couldn't clear your exam but if you keep on repeating the same mistakes which you did last time right you are not going to expect a better result next time also so now you know once you are over with this phase you will have to get up courage and you will have to now start preparing for the june exam which means that you have only 4 months left and in these 4 months this is a very good strategy which dr akib is telling and this is not only a, a strategy which he is telling he followed it and you see he's got a score of 236 so which means that rapid revision videos you did first dr rakib yes, then yes, once you did the rapid revision uh, for example if you did surgery you did the rapid yes, revision videos of surgery yes, then you read all the pearls of surgery pearls of you surgery, just yes. read all the pearls of surgery or you did something else also dr rakib no ma'am ma when i was using like uh, reading any pearl i used to write it down again then i used to go on to the next pearl Oh okay so you a lot of information on this in one poll so i used to write it down how much i am remembering right now if i am not remembering all then i used to see the poll again okay so that is what is active recall got it so please bachu that is what he did he read the poll and then he noted it down you were noting it down somewhere and yes, then you see yes, how much you could recall it yes ma'am and then the third step was you did 
MCQs. Now, this yes. MCQs, Dr. Akib, were the MCQ from the QBank modules or was it the PYQs only? Ma'am, uh, I did a lot of modules from the main QBank and the explanation in those uh, questions was, was amazing. I used to read a whole explanation and it used to help me a lot to clear the concept and because there it was so much nice explanation there. So I used to like it. Wonderful. So uh, one qu a question over here, Dr. Akib, the questions which you did, the MCQ questions which you were doing, was it the FMG QBank questions or the NEET PG QBank questions? It was mixed. Some models I used to do from, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But okay. uh, I did all the PYQs of FMG and all PYQs of NEET PG. Again, that's something very important and that's very intelligent also because the uh, examination body, the National Board of Examination is setting paper for NEET PG as well as for FMGE. So please now onwards, all of you rapid revision, then pearls and also PYQs of NEET PG and FMG. Wonderful, Dr. Akib. I mean, this is like the complete strategy for clearing the exam. Now, other than this, uh, Dr. Akib, I mean, uh, did you read standard textbooks also during this period? Not during this period, but uh, during my uh, final year and third year, I used to uh, study from the standard books. They're in then, uh, our university. They used to tell us to study from the main textbooks. OK. Now, uh, Dr. Akib. Uh, I just want to know from you that someone who like you gave almost five, six months and you've literally, I mean, come out with the flying colors. So anyone who is going to appear for June exam, do they have sufficient time in hand if they start from now, they start following your strategy or whatever strategy, do they have sufficient time to clear the exam? And how much time do you think is apt to clear this exam? So six month, months is fine, but uh, I'll say first when you're confident for any subject, give less time to that. And if you think that this subject is we give more time to that. And if your concepts are already clear, then it's very easy for you to retain the uh, stuff which you are going to study again. So I'll say yes. the questions or the topics which you don't understand or in which you are weak, give more time to that. Wonderful. Now, uh, over here, there are some students who have this habit of leaving a few subjects because they think that these some subjects are not that important and they don't get they don't their weightage in the exam is not that much what are your thoughts on this did you leave any subject no ma'am no, ma i didn't leave any subject and i will say don't leave anyone at least read once because something is going to retain in your mind and it will help you a lot when you are giving the exam and you will come uh, during like the examination. You said, like you said that you did the rapid revision videos, yes, you did the pearls and then some MCQ. So this this first round, how much time did this first round take for all the subjects? I think I don't know exactly how much time it took for me, but I think approximately, approximately it took uh, me three months. It took you three months I, for a. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. Ma when I was preparing for my exit exam, I had uh, read two, three subjects from the main textbook and I had like cleared all the concepts like I'll say surgery I had done during that period I did it wholly from the right. book and I was sure about the surgery and for that then when I was preparing for FMG I gave less time to the surgery and I gave more time to those subjects in which like I was you said just now that if you are confident about a subject then give less time to it yes ma'am right that yes. is what you said but still in three months you were able to have one complete round of all 19 subjects Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. With rapid and, revision and with pearls. And with pearls. Okay. Yes. And approximately, just an idea. I know there are some good days and some bad days, but on an average, how much time were you devoting to your studies? This is uh, approximately ten to twelve hours every day. Approximately ten to twelve hours. Yes, and at this time, weren't you tempted to be joining any offline uh, coaching or any offline help? Did weren't you tempted to do that? No, ma'am. No, I was fine at home, and I was because that the, the Mero team was so amazing that I didn't need any help. It was everything was there in the app. I mean, I am so happy to hear this. Wonderful. Okay, now. Um, 
tell me now when did you start giving your first doing your first revision and what did you do in that first revision first uh, i did uh, rapid revision videos then i used to see the pulse and i used to do the mcqs of that part no, for no, example this was to... this was the first reading beta yes. so first yes. reading got over in 3 months you did all this yes. in 3 months now once your all this was complete then came your yes. revision time yes. so how much time did the revision take and how did you go about with revision uh during revision i used to revise the rapid revision notes once okay. but it didn't took okay. me a lot of time because it was i knew i had uh, seen the videos and during my re rapid this uh, revision notes uh, it didn't took me much time when i used to read once and then i used to go back again to the q bank which i did and i used to read the explanation again of that q bank okay and so I you made the notes of those calls again yes ma'am i had made notes of those calls and i used to see them again i i had kept those pulse here those small notes here and i used to revise them again and again that is very important bachu see this is what we always tell whatever you've done in your first reading limit yourself when you are revising limit yourself to that because you need to have a photographic memory of what you've done don't over uh, spread yourself don't become over enthusiastic during your first reading that you start doing unnecessary things and later on land up in not revising it so dr akib did exactly what we all always recommend you to do like you said dr akib now you it didn't take you much time approximately how much time did it take you second time you know when you were revising all this how much time did it take it took me one and a half month one and a half month see exactly 50% of time Th yes. three months earlier and then one and a half months which yes. means that you could give a second revision also i mean yes, in total you could do everything three times yes ma'am No, so I did it three times, and then at the end, when a uh, few weeks were left, I did only pulse, and I did pulse, and uh -huh. yes, uh, I was uh, like reading the explanation of previous year questions. wonderful okay i mean you have a brilliant strategy uh, dr akib now during these days there would have been times when you would have been self doubting yourself what kept you going who was the source of motivation or did you have any stress buster hobbies or something which helped you in venting out i didn't had any specific hobby but when i was doing q bank i was getting good results uh, that kept me like so confident that was the real motivation yes, yes uh, what about gts were you giving uh, gts yes ma'am i gave only three or four gts from uh, marrow and i was getting good result that to help me to keep myself confident wonderful and did you give uh, the national mock test which was held uh, by yes, marrow yes what was your score there i think it was 252 so there also you were getting above 200 here also you got above 200 so you were pretty sure that you are moving in the right direction yes ma'am yes ma'am i was but i'm and not that you... much sure i'll get it. when i when i did my exam that time i was feeling little upset but like i was telling my friends that i was not expecting these kind of questions like now i was coming exactly was my i was coming exactly to that that how was your experience on the day of the exam so it was good when i went inside when i started the first paper when we came back i told my friends what do you think about the paper was it the only one who thought that it was little bit odd they said no no it was little bit. i told them no it was good but there were some questions i was not expecting this way and then i gave the second paper I was sure, like I got, I will get the good results, but I was not that much sure I will get this much good result because I was little bit upset that time because I was not expecting because they are in uh, our university they were giving more uh, clinical questions they are like four five liners six liners questions and uh, we had a habit of solving those questions and there I was finding like no, I think there were much questions which were single line or two liners. so here you had a little tricky questions i mean yes, they weren't uh, exactly four five liner questions so they didn't have a very long stem but eventually but the tricky. questions were tricky yes ma'am yes so they were very tricky how many and questions that, I mean, obviously you would have attempted all questions i mean, since there wasn't any negative marking so you would have attempted all the questions yes ma'am i attempted all which questions. subjects were you absolutely confident about i'll say first i'll say surgery right then i'll say obgy only because of you ma'am 
thank you. And then I'll say, among my minus, I was uh, sure about the all basic subjects like physiology, anatomy, like pathology and microbiology was like a little bit, I was weak in. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. I mean, but it's when so I, nice. But when I did pathology, I was thinking I'm not going to remember, remember this much stuff. It's very difficult to remember this much stuff. Then that was the first thing when I started seeing the pearls. And I thought that I'll see the pearls. And when I saw the pearls, and that helped me a lot, a lot. You know, talking to you, it's just like uh, I'm so happy that you are talking about pearls because you don't, I mean, students don't value what is being given to them in the form of pearls. Yes. Pearls are the most underrated thing which I feel, which are actually so important. If all of you can follow what Dr. Akib did, you make notes of these pearls. And this is nothing but a 20th notebook for you. We all keep on telling you that towards the end of the exam, you know, towards the end of your preparation, you have to limit yourself to a 20th notebook where you've written down all the important topics and volatile things, uh, you know, and that is what Pearls is. Pearls is giving you everything at one place. That is all the most frequently asked tables, flowcharts, and that is the most volatile thing as well. So. Please make use of pearls. And uh, Dr. Akib, it was so wonderful talking to you. And I can see that, uh, you know, you have that maturity in your thought. You know what you have to do and how you have to do. So I'm sure you are going to do so well in your career ahead. But you, as of you. now, what are your plans? How are you going to party now? <laughs> I have not decided it yet, but first I'll spend some time with my parents because from long time I have not spent much time because I came back uh, from my university after five years. I didn't came back in the media. I came back after a long time. So I had to spend, then I went to other city for preparation of FMG because I was not staying at home. So Achoo. now I'm planning to spend. You were not some staying at home with... also. You, you, where did, where, where were you putting up uh, Dr. Akib? First month I was at home, but I was studying, so I was not spending much time with my parents. Then I went to Jammu and I was there preparing for my exam. No, I am, uh, you know, my respect and regards to all the foreign medical graduate students uh, out there. You people actually uh, struggle much more than Indian medical graduates. So please, please be proud of yourself whether you've cleared this exam or not you should be proud that you have been struggling so much the struggles which you people face the indian medical graduates are not even aware of that even as a faculty i'm not aware of all the struggles and hardships which you people have to face lots of love and respect to all of you and all the best dr akib for a bright future ahead take care thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you so much thank you